How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Dolby Atmos equalizer onto your OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro. This also works on, as you can see, uh, 7T and the 7 and the 7 Pro. Now I did a video on this on the 7 Pro but today we're gonna go ahead and do one for the OnePlus 8 and essentially what this does is this installs a Dolby Atmos equalizer onto your phone so you could have music, movie, dynamic, uh, custom. You could adjust everything on here. You could turn it on, turn it off and everything. So it's really, really nice compared to the regular Dolby Atmos settings on your device. So this does involve some ADB if you want to go that route. Uh, if you do have ADB installed on your computer, then you can follow the steps that I'll provide here. If you don't, that is quite all right. You can still download and just use this on its own. Uh, the only thing is when you go into settings and sound, you'll have the little Dolby Atmos section right here. As you can see, I do not have because I did use ADB. And you could go ahead and just set those settings to none because essentially if you have both of them on there, they could clash with each other. But before doing this, I didn't really have any issues uh, with them mixing with each other or anything. I just used both at the same time. But what you can do if you do not have ADB, that is quite all right. You can just download the app and just use it by itself. And then into settings, just hit none for your Dolby Atmos uh, settings. You'll have movie music, etc. Dynamic, just hit none. And then you'll be able to use um, this Dolby Atmos app. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do if you do have ADB, I'm pretty sure uh, if you do, you know how to use it. You're just gonna go into settings and then go into uh, developer options and make sure your USB debugging is on. So once you're done with that, like I said, if you don't have ADB, um, that's quite all right. You don't have to do this. But if you do, you guys know what you're talking, what I'm talking about. You can do this easily. I know a lot of guys aren't going to. That is quite all right. So just go ahead and plug in your phone, and then you're gonna go ahead and go onto your computer. Um, let's go to minimize this. Close that out, and then you're gonna go into your minimal ADB fast boot, and you're just gonna type ADB devices and then uh, it should pop up successfully and then it'll show the number and then device that is being shown right there so with that being said and done you're just going to go ahead and go over here and then you're going to scroll down to where it gives you the command right here for the ADB and essentially what this does is this will uninstall the Dolby on your device. You're just gonna highlight that, copy, and then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna want to hit space and then copy that on there and then hit enter. And I've, like I said, I've already done this so I probably won't do it again, but it should say success on there just to give you guys an idea of how this is done. Uh, if it doesn't work, you could do it again, but it did do it for me on the first. You're just going to hit space, copy, and then enter, and it'll do it for you. But like I said, it should fail because I've already done this. But if you haven't already done this, it should say success, and you are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And essentially what this does is this takes away the settings for... Dolby Atmos on your device so you will not have those anymore on your phone and uh, once you do that you go ahead and go into the, the link that I'll post down below and you're going to want to download the Razer phones um, Dolby Atmos apps you're just going to want to click on that it might be this one or another one okay so let's go back and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says download link. Use this link. And then you're gonna download this app and install it. So you're just gonna scroll down and hit download APK. 
keep in mind, like I said, I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again. You're just gonna hit download, and then once that's done, you're gonna hit install, and you should be ready to go. And then uh, to install it, you just hit install and you'll be ready to go. And then once you have everything said and done, you can add a quick toggle up here. It'll just be hidden. So you go into uh, edit and it will be down here, uh, non-highlighted and you can just drag drop to wherever you want your Adobe Atmos quick toggle to be. And then now you shall have Adobe Atmos you can quickly toggle on and toggle off which is really, really nice. And this does sound really good on the OnePlus. As far as sound quality goes, uh, it does improve the sound a lot, especially if you use custom, turn up your equalizer just a little bit. Uh, you do have intelligent uh, equalizer. You have balanced, warm, and detailed. I prefer detailed. You do have bass and answer, music, movie, and just the regular settings, which is dynamic. So this does improve the sound a lot on the OnePlus 8. Definitely a lifesaver. Compared to the original OnePlus's Dolby Atmos settings, you do have more options using this. But uh, with that being said, guys, that's pretty much it to installing this. Like I said, a lot of people won't have ADB set up on your computer, but a lot of you that do have, just go ahead and enter in uh, this command that I highlighted and it will take off the settings if you don't have ADB installed or you do not know anything about that you could probably go online or on YouTube and find out how to install ADB and then you could go ahead and do these steps if you don't you could just download the app by itself and you will be able to just use it on its own without having to do these ADB commands but um, like I said don't worry about that it's just an extra step if you want to do these commands to get rid of those settings. That way nothing uh, interferes with each other. But so far I've used this without doing these commands on the 7T, the 7 Pro, and the 8. And I didn't run into any issues. It's just an extra step just to give you that peace of mind. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Links will be posted in the description down below for you to check this out and download the APK and do all of this if you want to. And hope you guys stay safe out there. Uh, wash your hands, wear your masks. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.